And we are joined now by Mark oh. Kanya, who is actually a Portuguese from the New York Mets. This and Mark, again. for those of us that didn't get to see the entire interview on ESPN, can you please explain what is going on here? Uh, I mean, we're, we're getting into uh, technicalities of, uh, of how to pronounce, correctly pronounce my last name. And, and it actually, I mean, if we're going to be uh, technically correct, it's Kanya for, for the Portuguese people out there. Um, they, they know. They know how to say it. But, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm like third generation American, so we've, we've been saying Canna for the longest time. So it would seem uh, it would feel a little bit like pretentious to, to go by Kanya at this point. Very, I love the Kanye. I'm gonna, Mr. Kanye, I do want to ask you, yeah. you just came off a big two game sweep of the New York Yankees. Talk to me about the atmosphere at City Field. Oh, I mean, th that was one of the things I was looking forward to uh, when I signed with the Mets was that series in particular kind of had it circled on the schedule. So, um, I mean, it was really special. Anyone who's been there could probably tell you, but it, it was amazing. Um, and I, I just feel lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, man, I like your team. You guys are having fun. Buck's in there. He's sneaky funny for people that know Showalter. Comes off like this big old mean, tough guy, but he's not. He's a member at Dallas National. He's good stuff. And then you've also had a chance to play alongside Mr. P. Alonzo for the last half a year or whatever. I want to ask you this. What is he like? Because the polar bear is an amazing scene, dude. The homers, the home run derby. We had him meditating. We had him doing squats and clings. Talk to me. He's the best, man. He's, um, I've, I've been trying to pick his brain as much as possible because he's so, such a good worker, such a smart hitter. He, there's such a method to what, to everything he does. And you never know. Um, when you're going to be on a new team, you're going to meet these guys, what they're going to be like, if it's if it's just kind of natural or, or if there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And for Pete, um, so much work and and thought goes into his process. And, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are having a great year. He's certainly in the conversation for National League MVP. But you come to New York from Oakland, seven seasons there. Your wife, Marcy, she's an architect. Do you guys have any strong opinions about the high rises or the architecture in the city? <laughs> My four-year-old Cammy does. She, she's she been pointing at buildings and go, wow, look at that one. And she loves buildings. She loves the bridges. Um, so it kind of it makes me really happy that we we chose New York when I see her do stuff like that because uh, she's a she's a chick up, chip off of uh, Mama's block with the appreciation <laughs> for for buildings. Yeah, that's great. And of course, um, it's all about the show there in New York. Bright lights, big city, and and New York. Uh, the Mets social department does a great job of uh, showing you guys arriving. I love how they always show every team shows guys getting off the bus with the Starbucks in their hand. We all know how you get to the park. All right, tell me please about yeah. uh, this particular fit. Oh, um, that was a new one that I was. That's a new one I was really excited to wear. Um, we were coming to Miami, so I felt like it was appropriate. And that is um, the fine people at Acne Studios got me got me into that one. And uh, yeah, I just I love fashion. I love dressing up. The guys on the team know I, I tend to go big on the uh, on the show flights. So um, yeah, I like to it's like it's why not? You know, it's we're only here for so long in the big leagues and and going on these That's these right. trips like this and and uh, I feel like it's now more than ever it's a, it's an opportunity to blow it out with the fashion. Yes, I agree with that 100 percent. Keep doing it. it's awesome. Um, now you run an Instagram account called Big League Foodie, which basically I want you to explain it, it's all these great meals around the country and where did where did you find love yeah. for food? Um. I mean, my dad cooked a lot growing up, and he'd cook a lot of stuff that, as kids, we probably I hated most of the time, honestly. Um, but through that, I kind of, you know, it was comfortable eating stuff that was 
that we didn't know what it was. And so um, I, I was eating weird stuff from a very young age. Um, and then I went to school at Cal Berkeley and, and they have all kinds of different um, diversity there in the, in the food scene. So there's all kinds of different cuisines I got to try and, and uh, Indian food and Thai food and Korean food and stuff like that. So um, ever since then, I, once I met a food blogger in the Bay Area and she, she told me what she was doing, I was like, oh, wow, you can actually do this and, and people will pay attention and follow. And, and people are interested and and i just thought that was the coolest thing and and i basically copied her and i was like all right well i'm doing it too because this sounds awesome yeah dude that is good stuff all right so since that we don't have everybody's not a foodie i want to go through your instagram yeah. account and i want you to kind of describe some of these dishes oh Miss Alana, are you a foodie? Alana's got something. Oh, big time. I'm a big foodie. I love this page. I'm all in on his page, the Big League Foodie. I'm all in. I'm following him all the way across the all country, right. eating all this food. Oh, let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. I want to okay. go right here. It's called the Cold English Pea Soup, Chicago. Yeah. That's uh, Royster, which is Grant Atkins's, um restaurant. He also has the more kind of famous and um, formal Alinea, which is a three Michelin star restaurant. But that um, that one was really good. Just I love peas. I love a pea soup. And uh, in the summertime, it just feels right. And it, they they fancied that one up with a uh, I believe it was a Greek yogurt ice cube in the corner there mm. and a and a piece of uh, jamon iberico. And that was uh, that was amazing. That does look amazing. I'm a big pea soup guy also. All right, from the Bay Area, Lumpia. Can you talk to me about this? Oh, Lumpia. Oh, the <laughs> Lumpia company. This is the best. Um, so this guy's my boy. I lived uh, less, literally a block away from their, uh, their storefront in Oakland my last year. And um, they have all different kinds of Lumpia. If you're not familiar, Lumpia is a a Filipino egg roll and it's amazing. They do everything from like a traditional one that's like chicken tinola is a more traditional Filipino flavor. And then they'll do like a bacon cheeseburger one. They have a, a peach cobbler one for dessert, which is amazing. It's it's like a it's just a comfort food and it's it's delicious. And if you show that picture again, they they made a uh, a little cartoon of me, which I'm like, I'm like, okay, I've made it in the Bay Area now. I got my own little Lumpia character right there. Yeah, I mean, I've made it. Everything else at this point is is just gravy. I got That's my own so Lumpia good. character. All right, we're gonna and go to I New think York I, City spaghetti. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, well, go ahead. E, I want to mention E40, the rapper, like owns part of that company too. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kind of cool. Uh, cool tip. To New York City. Spaghetti a la yeah. Marsilia? Marseille. Marseille. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That, See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, that's a new dish for me. Um, that's it, just like this really nice, uh, kind of casual French bistro in the Upper West Side called Nice Matin. I hope my pronunciation is right, wow. right there. Um, You're nailing yeah, it. Yeah, that it's um, it's a seafood pasta dish, and it it's got a uh, crab in there, some crab meat, some shrimp. I believe there's some mussels in there, and and I'm a sucker for for fresh seafood, and and that one was. Um, just a really cool like neighborhood restaurant no frills but but just good solid like french bistro food which which i'm a big fan of like when you can just walk down the street and just walk into a restaurant you don't need a reservation or anything and and the food is that good it's uh that's something special let me ask you right, this last Mark. one now i know that oh, you love ahead, the Alana. french you, food you are you doing uh champagne with it because you said what's the point of drinking anything yeah. else? why don't you just drink champagne <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, champagne's the best. I love champagne. And uh, especially for a guy like me, like everyone is always like, well, what about the wine? Tell us which wine you like. I'm not really, 
when we get into the whites and the reds and the, the varietals, I, I, I don't really know about that. I'm really more into the food. So it's like, for me, I'm just like, well, I know I like champagne, so give me a glass of that. So good, so good. I just wanna know, last yeah. one. This is the last question. I need a sneaky okay. spot in New York City that Mr. Mark Kanya kind of <laughs> dashes. That's one of your favorite little, I love that, by the way. That's gonna be my favorite like name to announce now. I'm gonna be Mark Kanya, go deep. <laughs> Um, okay, a sneaky New York spot. Eh, yeah. I'm going to give you my bagel spot. I'm going to give a shout out to my bagel Man. spot because everybody, you know, there's the big ones that everyone talks about, but I've never heard anyone talk about this one. And it's just called Bagels and Company. It's on the Upper West Side on, on uh, I believe it's on Amsterdam in like 79th and okay. it's amazing it's i it blew me away i didn't get the new york bagel thing like i had essa bagels are pretty good and there's h and h and and all these bagel places but but this one is like the neighborhood one that i don't know i i don't know there, maybe there's better bagels in new york maybe there's not but but i can't imagine there's better bagels than bagels and company <laughs> Nice. Bagels and Company in New York City. And yes. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this out there. I've been trying to get into Alinea for about a decade. So if there's anything that you can do oh. to get me and 1-5 into Alinea in Chicago, please let us know. That would be great. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, uh, we'll make it happen. You, it's not that hard. We'll get. We'll make it happen. Uh, Grant okay. Atkins is yeah. a great Kanye, guy. Make sure that uh, you uh, worry about Sandy Alcantara tonight first before you worry about our reservations. Yeah. Thanks so much for uh, taking a minute to be with uh, Kevin and I right here on Intentional Talk. All right. Thanks for humoring me with the food talk.